Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Anil Joshi. Welcome to you to my series Learn Radiology with Dr. Joshi. This lecture series of Radio Physics is meant as a simplified version of larger topics covered elsewhere. They are available on uh, website also as well as my own YouTube channel also. Now topic for this uh, today short presentation is auto transformer. Now initially disclaimer most of the material which we are using here has come from our departmental routine uh, teaching. Some of it might have been downloaded from the net which is a royal free we acknowledge with thanks from those from we have got this material now let's get back to the lecture transformers types of transformers out of which we will be covering them in different lectures now today's this lecture is particularly for a auto transformer now transformer is a device that either increases or decreases the voltage in the circuit that is the xa circuit or let's call it as a xa production unit circuit it is used to change the potential difference of the incoming electricity to appropriate required levels now the what are the types of transformer they can be auto transformer where you do not need much of the changes now then are the step up transformer and step down transformers now all these things are extensively covered in different lecture today's topic of this lecture is auto transformers the present lecture is an auto transformer which keeps voltage unchanged and it is used in x-ray units which we are going to see also when we will see entire x-ray units circuit diagram for that we have to understand incoming or input input is usually by the ac and it makes primary winding ac means alternating current while the secondary winding he makes it as the output so depending on the ratio of these two you can have auto transformer step up or step down now as the name implements now you can see here the diagram shows that ac the electricity supply is applied usually it is from the electricity board usually in india it is 240 volt and 50 megahertz so it is applied to the primary winding and the secondary winding is the output now depending on the supply depending on the supply it can make and depending on the step up or step down version it can have a step up step down transformer or auto transformer now insulating you can see in between are the insulated uh, the wires are insulated they are not directly exposed to each other so also there is iron core which is in a square type now transport design it consists of two wire coils wrapped around a closed core the circuit containing first coil connected to the available electricity is called as a primary circuit and the circuit containing second coil from which the required supply comes is called as a secondary now depending on the windings rotations you can have step up step down or a auto transformer now core of the transmit core of the transformer lamination is made up of thin sheets of special iron alloy separated from each other again by a insulating layer these sheets are clamped tightly together so that they will not get separated now what is the transformer law by which all these transaction occur is the voltage ratio is equivalent to the turn ratios now this is the formula given here those who are interested can go through it by making a small pause here you can see the turn ratios secondary coil primary coil secondary voltage and primary voltage this is called as a transformer law here it is shown in diagrammatic ways you can calculate what should be the voltage coming by these calculations a step up transformer increases the voltage and decreases the current it it is obvious a raw of conservation of energy now when you are increasing the voltage what will drop is the current while a step down transformer what it causes is it decreases voltage however it increases the current so that is how these two things work now what is auto transformer auto transformer provides voltage for x-ray tube and filament circuit 
it provide voltage for primary of the high voltage transformers now it provides suitable voltage for subsidiary circuits in the ac unit it provides a conventional location for the kvp meter that indicates the voltage to be applied across the ac tube now kv ma and s are the three factors which we need for the radiography now auto transformer consists of a single winding wound around a laminated closed core that has got insulation in between it works on the principle of self induction and ac current applied between the input points will induce a flow of magnetic flux around the core now this flux will link with all the turns forming the coil inducing voltage into the turns of secondary now in auto transformer there is only one winding that is of incoming ac voltage connected across the coils this is a primary now output voltage proportional to the coils between taps these taps gives you a different voltage levels now that acts as a secondary so depending on that you can get a required voltage from the auto transformer now voltage law for auto transformer same as for other transformers secondary voltage adjustable by moving to a different tap there is a sliding tap provided it's worthwhile opening a machine and seeing it without touching it there are very high voltage across when the machine is being maintained you can have look at this you can see this where there are adjustable taps now changes secondary coil primary coils are given in a formula you can have a look at it and get the required answers how much voltage will be coming to the auto transformers now here input there are sliders by which you can get a different type of voltages so it's a major component of a xm machine and makes a kv selection meter possible by the windings or their proportion now within a very limited range an auto transformer can function as a step or step down transformer also but application we are using is for the same required voltage whichever we need that is a constant voltage now these laws assume 100% transfer efficiency but the transformers are not 100% efficient they do not have 100% efficiency in transferring the energy because certain there will be certain losses in terms of heat which are need to be consideration now with this we are coming to a end of small topic that was of auto transformers there are different topics like step up step down transformer which are part of the series do visit our website and you will find a wealth of knowledge there are lot of lecture on lot of different topics and there are lot of ways in which a radiology is presented some are ebooks some are the case uh, presentations some are the spotters and definitely it will help not only exam going students but also a genius who has got interest in radiology thank you goodbye and take care